Welcome back to part 17 of the Root River uh, skiff build. Or skiff build. It's been a couple months. Uh, spring is in the air, so it's time to get back to uh, working on the boat. So let's get started. So we left off in the last part of the builder in the fall with kind of the current state of the boat. Um, we had just finished up working on these side storage areas and working on the, the top part of them. So we're going to going to continue working on um, them in this next part of the build. So what I've done is I've built a, a mock-up of the rower seat base, um, and we'll go over the construction of that in um, um, another um, part of the build, but that's just a mock-up of mock -up of the rough shape and size of it. Um, but what we're, we're going to work on is the side storage um, lids. So I made a mock-up right here of what the lid will um, look like so you can see from the top um, there will be one on the other side over there so i got the the latch right there and then within it i have um, a hinge as well um, those blocks in there are just a uh, spacer so what we're going to do is is we have this whole interior area uh, will be open and then we'll have to build um, a rim around it out of the the kume um, plywood and then we're gonna do um, something different that i've never done before but excited is we're gonna make um, um, a fiberglass lid and use gel coat and polyester resin and have to make a mold for it so that's what the lid will be uh, made out of but this is the the shape and the general um, size of of how this lid will work so you can see um, overall turned out very nice happy with it so what we're going to do first is we're going to have to make um a, a jig for cutting out the hole um for um uh, for the opening so we'll get to start making that jig so i got the the jig or template all uh put together let's see i just have it pocket screwed together so what is right here right now is what the opening um, will be. So we can just set this on top of it so you can see just kind of how that will work like that. So how I did the jig is that um, this piece is the offset from this to this. This is the layout line. So um, all this space right here um, beyond um, this in is going to be cut out and then on this end so i have a, a center line you can see that goes right there and then up um and it's this line right here so i'll line this up with that and then we'll line that up so i'll take this i'll trace it out um or i'll take the the piece the top out trace it out on here um I'll use uh, a jigsaw to just rough it out, and then I'll use a flush trim on a trim router to uh, flush it out and make it all straight and pretty. So we got the first side all done. You can see it. So what's nice is that the rower seat is right here, and I wanted to line it up pretty well with the, the center of this, maybe just a little bit forward, so that when a person is rowing, they most of it or most of the storage is right there so they can put flies and such in there since i'm going to put some um on the bottom side of the lid i'm going to put some uh foam um so flies could be put there um there will also be a tray that i'll put on one of the sides so that's why i want it farther back and another one is um when i step out of the boat it's nice to do it right here um so you step out and i'll have plenty of room right here to step out then. So you can put this over it, kind of get it all roughly lined up and we can close it and then it will work like that. So um, this latch then, um, it has this little piece right here. And so it moves as you do that. So that this part right here will hook on the bottom side of uh, the top. So that's how that will lock and such. And, or uh, be cl kept closed, um, just need to adjust it. So it's lockable and such. So this side's done. So we'll jump to the other side and do the same. All right, so I got both holes cut um, on each side for the, the storage areas. Um, so you can see. So what's nice too is that, so the, 
the rear bulkhead um, pieces right there. So that means that you can see, I mean, it's, it's back there. I think, you know, it's about 20 or 48 inches from, from uh, this bulkhead to that. So it would be able to, hopefully I'm, I'm hoping to be able to put um, uh, a two part spare or in one of the sides, um, but just it'll also be nice storage area <clears throat> as well. Um, one of the downfalls though, is that, you know, you could get stuff lost in that far end, but I think being able to keep a, a spare oar within the side storage area and not within the boat, especially since it's a small um, boat will be um, more useful um, in the end. So the next thing that we're gonna work on is um, cutting out these strips that go around and form on the outside. These are one inch or seven eighths inch uh, strips of Akume. Um, so I'm gonna rip those out and then I'm just gonna glue them or epoxy them and, or clamp them and glue them around um, the outside and then I'll glue the joints um, together. So just super simple, nothing too crazy. Um, so, but that'll be it um, for this part of the build. Um, I wanted to break up the side storage kind of lid areas into two different parts. Um, because this whole entire, we're going to have to actually, this is, like I said, going to be made out of um, a fiberglass um, and going to be using polyester resin and um, doing some gel coat stuff with it too. So that's a completely new thing to me. I'm um, going to just want to put it in a separate part of um, the video. So stay tuned for um, that video coming out hopefully in the next couple of weeks here as the weather warms up. And until that comes out, thanks for watching.